It looks like it's rolling. Yeah, so let's talk about food. Yes. One of my favorite things to talk about besides my wife. But, uh, so I had, uh, I had arranged, I had made reservations through Facebook, mind you, at the Roca Bistro, R-O-C-A Bistro. So we roll in there about 6.45 Saturday night. Because our reservations were at 7. Was for 7, yeah. We're trying to be good patrons and be a few minutes early. Uh, good thing because we had to uh, circle around through the parking lot and then finally drive back up the road a ways and park. And walk. And walk back which in. Fine. Which is no big deal. You know, we're, we're, uh, we walked and, and hiked Saturday, so we weren't tired at all. Nope, not at all. <laughs> but that's all right, you know. Life, life goes on. First world problems. We had to walk to the restaurant. <laughs> But let me tell you about what happened when we get in. So we roll in there, and, <laughs> and Snooty Hostess is like, may I help you? Yeah, we got What's reservations up, Snooty? Reservations for 7 o'clock. What's the name? She's, Evans. She's looking through her iPad. E-V-A-N-S. Yeah, it's not that hard to spell. Dude next to her is looking through his iPad. Uh, is that for tonight? Yes, yeah. 7 o'clock. And you've got reservations. Yes, ma'am. We made them through Facebook. She says, We don't do that. Uh, we, don't, uh, we don't. Did you call or? No, no. ma'am. Facebook. We don't, do that. we don't We don't do Facebook reservations. Guess what Russ does? Pulls out the old smartphone, pulls yeah, out the conversation. Here you go, ma'am. She says, We don't do Facebook reservations. I, I don't know who you talk to. But I don't have anything. We can put you in the bar. Well, all right. Because Russ is hungry. Very. We hiked up a mountain. Yes. We were hungry. I'm, I'm hungry to the point that I'm hangry. And I'm like mm -hmm. that green dude. You don't like me when I'm hangry. Nope. Because I <laughs> get kind of mean and my stomach growls and people <laughs> think I'm really a bulldog or something. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they uh, usher us to the bar to a table in the corner. Which is fine if you want to be loud and obnoxious, not celebrating your uh, your 25th wedding anniversary, your wife's 29th birthday. It means I was four when we got married. Yeah, I like them young. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so yeah, so the first thing you know, they 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 flop us down and, and we we both pile up in the corner because we're lovebirds and all that and sit on the same side of the table. Apparently, that's some kind of etiquette breach or whatever. The cushions were over there. The other chairs were hard. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to sit where the My butt was, was tired. I didn't want to sit in a hard wooden chair. I wanted to sit on some padding. Yeah. You know, fellas, because I lost all that weight. It's just like bone on bone now. If I sit in, in a hard seat, yeah, my legs go to sleep and they hurt and then my hips hurt. And, you would think and, a fancy, swanky, uppity restaurant would have cushions. That's how we sat on the cushions. Yeah. <laughs> So now we're taking up two seats in the bar and we're not ordering alcohol. Oh, you'd have thought, never mind. I don't know what you'd have thought. But they finally got through, through their head that we just wanted water to drink. Mm -hmm. Don't bring us a little fancy glass. Bring us a, a five gallon bucket from Home Depot, about <laughs> half full of ice and the rest of it water because I'm thirsty. Thirsty, and I don't want to no, don't want none of your six dollar a can local brewery <laughs> beer. Don't want no wine. Like I don't. I don't know what. I, I don't know. We're wine novices. Wine virgins, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> we don't drink, you know. So yeah, we're we're in the we're sitting in the bar taking up space and we're not ordering alcohol. So you know they've already had to go out of the way to seat us. I, I wish we just got up and left. So I'm looking at the menu and I'm thinking, twelve Man. bucks for a pizza. That's that's pretty good. They got some pretty good pizzas on here and and Six. stuff. Yeah. You know, twelve, fifteen, sixteen dollars for a pizza. I'm like, okay, this ain't Little Caesars, but then it ain't Little Caesars, and that's all it needs to not be is Little right. Caesars. So, just in case, I make a plan B. So, when the snooty waitress comes around. Now do your impression. Oh, my goodness. 
just a perfect impression of her. All right, now I don't know. I don't know what kind of acting I'll be the school. Voice. I don't know what kind of acting school she'd been to. I would go. You go ahead and say what she would say, and then I'll just kind of, I'll mimic. <laughs> Hi, can I help you? And then <laughs> after each sentence or pause, she'd kind of purse her lips out, <laughs> and then make them go back. Kind of line her mouth with her eyes and her hips. You know, she's kind of <laughs> flatten her butt out a little bit. Kind of like that. Like, is she having a seizure or something? <laughs> and every single time, would you like more water? <laughs> How about dessert? She squint her eyes up too. Yeah. <laughs> poor girl, Hip, poor hips girl. On her, Hips on the same plane with her lips and her eyes, you know, everything is an architect's dream right there if you like, you know, everything in a box. Holy cow, girl. Get a grab. Would you like some more water? No. How about have you made your out have you made your drink section yet? No. Water? Would you like anything else? Nope. Some more water? <laughs> So we started doing it back. No, yeah, well, I wanted to. I wanted to. I did. I wanted to. But trying to be a decent human being, we're just making fun of her, you know, three days after the fact. So, yeah. Come on, Bistro Roke. If, if somebody in your Facebook page says, we will make you a reservation for 7 o'clock on Saturday night, honor it. So, I, I, again, I pull out old smartphone. And I pull up the conversation from Bistro Roca, and and this is okay, 7:01 p.m. I'm and I and I just I, I wrote back in plain, unbroken English. Your hostess just informed me that you do not accept reservations via Facebook. And it was just a couple of minutes, you know, you get that, you know, that notification that they read it, and there was no response. So uh, what's that dude hanging out. So yeah, Bistro Roca. Yeah, the food was okay. Oh, and, and let, me, let me tell you about the pizza. That $12 pizza is an eight inch pizza cut into four pieces. She says, it's more like a, uh, a personal, personal pizza. You probably probably be hungry after you eat some of that. I got some kind of, I got some kind of burger that had onion rings on it and bacon and. Something like that, some kind of pepper. Oh yeah, uh, a habanero pepper or sauce, something or other. I think it'd be kind of manly put some hair on my chest. Nah. <laughs> it's all right. As old, my old friend said, you say it'd make a turd. So that, I guess that was a redeeming factor. The company was good. The water was good. <laughs> Ambiance. I ain't crazy about sitting in the bar and, and, and trying to eat my food at romantic dinner with my, my young bride of 25 years. So, yeah, Bistro Roca. I'm not going to give you a thumbs up. I'm not going to give you a thumbs down. I'm just going to give you whatever. Doggone, that was eight minutes and something.